Imagine one email costing you thousands of dollars. Well, that's what could happen if you respond to an email a scammer has sent you. Business email compromise was the number one cyber threat and the focus of the Better Business Bureau's cybersecurity seminar today. Well, we have a warning from an expert, and we're introducing you to a business owner who is trying to stay one step ahead of cyber thieves. When the sun is shining, you'll normally see Don South at his business in Renner. Straw Bale Winery needs good weather to make it. That's why South isn't thrilled about 2019. You've got to take the things that they throw at you and make lemonade out of lemons. Or, in this case, wine out of grapes. There are threats other than the weather South has to watch out for. After all, small businesses are big targets for scammers. You know, you always get these crazy emails. Today, South and other business owners learned how to better protect themselves from business email compromise. Scamming businesses by taking over emails or phishing is costing companies a lot. $26 billion in just the last three years. You may get that email that says, are you in today? And you quickly answer yes. Well, they're looking, and it's a scammer that is looking for that information um, to determine what they can send potentially to obtain money or information. Gillespie spoke on today's panel. She says phony emails can look real, and all scammers really have to do is change a letter or two to fool you. So you really have to pay attention to it. Our, our mind plays tricks on us, and you kind of see what you, you need to see. She says take the time to check the email and even cross-reference it with someone else or check the company's site. Don't click on any links or give out any personal or financial information if you're worried it's a scam. South hopes these lessons and everything else he's learned today will help him put a cork in any thief's plans. You know, once you push send, you have no idea where that's going. So I think that's why you have to be very, very careful. If you need to learn more or report a possible cybercrime, you can do so at the Attorney General's office. We've listed that information under this story on Kelloland.com.